Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Another warm day in the Church Valley, topping 80 in some locations. And a view from our tower cam shows we've got partly cloudy skies. The cloud cover beginning to thicken a little bit. We had the partly cloudy, then periods of sunshine, very pleasant conditions, winds fairly light. The clouds are going to start to be in the increase this evening, but I still think it'll be dry in the Church Valley. There is a slight chance for a couple sprinkles in some locations. Near Grandview, we're seeing a light sprinkle now. Mountain Home may get a brief shower. It's actually probably going to pass just to the east. But if you've got a ball game, it wouldn't cancel it this evening. But to tomorrow, we have a chance of some showers coming into the mountains even we'll see that overnight tonight let's look at the temperatures around the area 78 in Boise 79 in Mountain Home so we're right near that 80 degree mark some places touching or topping 80 there it is in Ontario and there's that light shower moving just to the east of Mountain Home these are tracking southwest to northeast will increase in the mountains later as well we've got a good deal of cloud cover and a shower past just to the northwest of a call up near Brundage Mountain and there's a rain shower west of Ontario so a few light showers here these will pass tonight push into the west central mountain Mountains. And then overnight, more cloud cover will come in. Tomorrow morning, we have a chance for showers. I think you'll wake up to cloudy skies tomorrow as moisture begins to build in from the west. We can see some right here. This moisture here will come in overnight tonight. We actually get a break behind it, but more moisture behind that showing up on our satellite picture will move on in. It's sitting offshore here. It'll follow this cold front as it moves on through. This front will slip through the region uh, during the day, uh, tomorrow, actually late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And so we'll get on the cooler side of things. That'll drop our temperature a bit. We'll have a lot of clouds. Now in the Treasure Valley, the, tr the threat for rain will probably be more towards the afternoon tomorrow, but there's still a chance in the morning. In the mountains, a good chance to often on showers uh, through a good portion of tomorrow and on Friday, but in the Treasure Valley, it's Thursday afternoon and Friday morning, then Friday later in the day getting drier, but we do have an unsettled weather pattern with moisture tracking in our direction. Let's step through it here as we look at our future cast. This will kind of give us a computer uh, forecast of what we're seeing here, and I'll let you you know what I think about it here. There's the cloudy skies overnight tonight, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. It does show a chance of showers here. Some charts show showers more in the afternoon. So there's a chance for a shower at any point during the day. There's a chance early in the morning and then later in the day towards the evening we may get this. But there's also a chance for a break. So we may see a little sunshine on Thursday as well. But you see the areas of green which represent the chance for some rain coming in. We push this ahead to Friday. More widespread precipitation. You may wake up to a wet morning on Friday. And so it could be a real wet start to the day, especially in the West Central Mountains. But then later in the day, a chance, and the computer's been showing this for a few days now, drying later Friday afternoon. So if you're in charge of canceling ball games that are going to occur in the evening, don't be surprised if you see rain in the morning, but okay conditions later in the day. So keep that in mind as dry weather then moves in a little bit later. Over the weekend, as we head into Saturday, I think we'll end up being partly cloudy. The mountains have a better chance of some lingering showers off and on through the weekend. But for the valley locations, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape, keeping mostly dry weather around. A cool down definitely coming in. Computers show a high of 77 today and then dropping it into the 60s to near 70 tomorrow, uh, Thursday and then near 70 on Friday. So that cool air sliding on in. The warmer weather, Casper near 80. That weather's going to be gone now. We're going to keep those temperatures down for a little while around the region. So you'll see it here on Thursday. Best chance of showers in the mountains to the north and to the south. Cool the weather coming in. We still have that threat for showers. And over the weekend, the jet stream sags to our south, puts, putting us on the cooler side of things. So upper 60s to near 70 over the weekend. Should be okay in the weekend, but it won't be as hot as last weekend. So for tomorrow, my forecast, lots of clouds, light wind, temperatures upper 60s to near 70. So we've got a chance for a scattered shower. Could be in the morning, a better chance later in the day. While in the west central mountains tomorrow, uh, we'll update this forecast. A good chance of some showers coming in in the West Central Mountains. And I'll look ahead to Friday here. You see a good chance for rain on Friday. Temperatures in the 50s, 50s Saturday and Sunday. So if you're heading to the Central Mountains, a chance for showers over the weekend. The best threat for rain is going to be on Friday for the West Central Mountains. And if you live in the Magic Valley, because you're further east than everybody else, a lot of clouds tomorrow, but only a slight chance for a shower. High temperature, upper 60s to near 70. But of course, you've had some rain showers in the Magic Valley today, and you could get a couple tonight. Tonight. My on your side extended forecast, keeping those temperatures a little cooler, only near 70. Sunday could be 67 and breezy, but it'll be dry on Sunday. Nice on Monday, very pleasant, warmer on Tuesday, but another blast of cooler weather could come in for Wednesday and it might drop back into the 60s by next Thursday. So this weather pattern, as I mentioned, we get changes in the pattern and we have started to shift more towards the cooler side of things. Uh, maybe it'll be cooler and May will, or, or you know, June will end up being warmer.
as we, as we <laughs> the latter part of June. Because it doesn't have to be a whole month that we have warm, cold, warm, cold, but it does go back and forth. And so we may be shifting towards a cooler pattern now. And as we get towards the middle part of June, that's in real summer. The end of school always seems to be a little iffy sometimes. It does. Yeah. You're you know? right. No, you're right. Well, Memorial Day. People mm. are planning on going camping. That's why. But we'll update yeah. you if you've got <laughs> camping plans for Memorial Day. All right. Thanks, Scott. Coming up next, the fallout.